All right, guys, I'm joined here with Alberto Castro. And Alberto, are you in Mexico City? I'm in, I'm in a city named Saltillo, which is quite close to uh, Monterrey, north part of Mexico. Okay. Mexico City is in the middle, so I'm in the north part, close to the United States, to Texas. Okay, okay, awesome. So Alberto and I, we met, you can see his hat, it says, Live with Passion, Tony Robbins. And so it was, it was over two years ago that we, were, we went to a, a live event in Chicago of Tony Robbins, and uh, I remember we were on a walk back. You were walking in front of me, and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, you know, obviously, there's 10,000 people there, and I had no idea who anybody was. I was there by myself, and so I caught up with you, and we just start talking. You, we, could, we instantly just kind of hit it off, and so we talked for what, maybe a couple miles. We were just kind of strolling through the city, and then we both went our separate ways, and then we connected on Facebook, and now I look up and I see that you're doing incredible things down there in Mexico, leading people and doing this, you know, these five o'clock mornings. And I'm like, this guy's rolling. And so before we got on camera here, I just asked you, out of those 10,000 people that were there, how many of them do you think are still chasing their dreams? Like your hat says, living with passion, because here we are, we're, we've taken, you know, obviously you're in Mexico, I'm in Illinois, we went separate paths, but now we're still following our dreams and our passions. And it's just incredible to see that we're still connected to through that experience. That, that sounds awesome. And, and as, as you mentioned, uh, out of those 10,000 persons, how many of them that start chasing their, their dreams? I don't know. I'm just listening from other coaches or, or, or uh, uh, mindsetters. Like uh, most of the times it's like a 5% or less. Yeah. You know, out of the 95, they, they take like a, this warm shower and later on continues their path. But just if you start uh, taking the step ahead and try to pursue their dreams. So uh, it, it was impacting to me. And, and as you mentioned, we never know what's going to be happening uh, from there. We just talked briefly. Now I'm seeing you that you pursued your dreams and you are in the right path to be to be the next time you're rubbing. So I, I love it. <laughs> That's fun. Well, I appreciate it. But, you know, it was just, it, it's so crazy how life happens, you know, that we we literally talked for maybe 20 or 30 minutes. And, you know, I've continued to follow you. You've continued to follow me. And, you know, you're part of Structure You. And I see what you're doing with your, your five o'clock mornings. And, and, you know, you know as well as I do, it's leaving that event, you're on a high. Like when you go to some raw, raw event like that, like the motivation is high. But it doesn't take long for the world to slap you in the face as soon as you get back home. And it's, you know, it's hard. None of us will ever stay motivated. So over the course of these last two years, how have you continued to stay motivated, following your dreams, you know, living with passion? Like, how do you, what do you attribute to just that continued success? I, I, I believe it that it, it happens uh, two or three different uh, things at the same time. When I meet you there on, on that event, it was two days after my 50th anniversary. I was uh, being uh, 50 years old. Uh, and when I get that, uh, that date, I, I told to myself, you know, this is gonna be a new beginning. Mm -hmm. I'm not thinking that I'm on the half part of my life. I'm gonna take it as I'm just getting born again and I, I'm gonna be living 100 years. You never know. Probably tomorrow is gonna be your last day. Mm -hmm. But I, I start with that, with that uh, thing on my mind. I celebrate big, and the next day I take a flight towards Chicago. Then I meet Tony Robbins, and after that, during that period of time, I, and to be honest, and I don't have any problem to share part of my life. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I was I was uh, facing. A uh, special situation. I, I I used to be married for 25 years, and at that time we were talking consciously that probably her life and mine needs to start going in a different path. So talking to to uh, now my ex-wife, uh, when I returned from uh, from Tony Robbins event, let's say that I I take the uh, the courage and face my fears. And we talk to each other, so we find a way to uh, to have a as, as I says a, a conscious split, and now we are we are friends. We still we still getting within. Uh, I have a three kids, big kids now, 24, 23, and 22. So those kind of things 
were signs like uh, it, it, it was time to pursue my dreams because I, I try to be somebody else. I, I feel that I have somebody inside myself that wants to come out. But being a, a good father, a responsible uh, uh, partner, thing like that, uh, I need to go in, in that path. But after that split, my 50th anniversary in leaving Tony Robbins event, something comes to my mind and says, this is the time to start going a new path in a new journey and try to uh, maintain this one. And as Tony says, we, we need to sustain or maintain this kind of uh, experiences because it, uh, you can, if you don't continue doing something like this one or having a coach or taking trainings or teaching somebody, your motivation is going to get down. So I believe that those big things were the uh, um, point when I'm start uh, taking the decision to go in a different way. And after that, I'm has been chasing coaches or, or uh, trainers or, or uh, authors that keeps feeding me with that kind of motivation. Obviously, Tony is, 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 is the main one. Uh, and uh, try, I try to maintain myself that kind of high level of motivation in order to don't get back on, on, on the previous path. But what is your experience on this path? Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's interesting to hear you say that because so you went through some stuff within these last two years that, you know, I was unaware of. And those are difficult, you know, to get to have been married for 25 years. That's difficult, you know, and, it, you know, maybe it, it stinks. It didn't work out, but it's almost like a midlife crisis. And now you get. I mean, you know, if you guys are happily separated, it's like a new like you said, a new chance at life. I'm over 50 years old and it's time to to do something else. Cause I'm on the second part of my life. No matter how you look at it, you know, if you live to be 75, you're still got 25 years or whatever you're you now, 52, you know, you still got a solid 20 years to do whatever you want with your life. And it's not it, like it, you're, it's not like you're out boozing, spending time in the bars and doing negative stuff. Like you're wanting to change the world and do better things. And, you know, I think that that's all, it's all good. You know, it, it's just, we all go through stuff, but it, like you said, it's how you rebound from those situations. You know, what are the, the actions or the feelings or, or, you know, just your emotions, your attitude? How can you can control a situation? Like you said, I'm not going to go back and live in the past and feel sorry for myself in those situations, but I've got to continue to look in a, in a you know, in a front mirror, where a windshield and not look in that rear view mirror. One of the things that I has been... Uh noticing and uh I, I i noticing on you and myself like uh people on our age has somebody else inside that wants to come up or come out to be an express it and and to live this new life on this journey for the 5 a.m club which uh obviously i, I was following through uh the book made up by the ramen charma mm -hmm. and uh People that start following me or, or following this path, most of them are uh, mature persons, about probably 40, 45 years old, that probably start seeing in ourselves the opportunity and the understanding that they can do more. Looks like a lot of people is just believing that they're on the half part of their life, they already build their family, they have a work, they have a house, they have a car, and they just need to keep keep going that path. But there is some force inside of them that wants to uh, be expressed, but somehow they don't know how, how, how to do it. Now that I'm what I'm seeing, what you are doing, following and listening to you says, wow, what a great idea i need to experience it in uh and, and take the course to do it and, and the way that we are uh i believe influencing the people we don't really know how deep is that influence like you says you are been doing uh, this structured you program which i'm i has been watching and i'm i has been watching the people that you has been inviting to it 
So those guys are an inspiration. And normally, we don't try to give this kind of lessons to our family. But now I'm seeing that, that my mother, that is around 75 years old, is to start walking towards doing a marathon. So she started taking a, a, a small, a small uh, uh, run, virtual runs, and start doing a better time. Says, "Wow, I, I I never thought that what I'm doing or saying may have an impact even on my mother. Normally, our mother and father are are, are the are the uh, coaches from for us, but now I'm doing things that she's inspired to, and now she's pursuing to do it. So." Uh, I'm I'm amazed on that one. And, you know, and that's very interesting because I think that it makes sense because, you know, like I told you with this path and journey, like I don't know where structure you is meant to go. I enjoy getting to meet people and doing Zoom calls like this with you um, and, and other people. I'm trying to do one a week, you know, and as I think, I'll see about this the other day. I'm like, you know, when I do these, like it's taking time away from my family and all this stuff. And that's that's completely fine because I enjoy doing this. But like in a long run, like, where is this going to take me? And like you said, you know, doing things like this, we're allowing people to start thinking differently because how many of us get stuck in our ways? Like you said, wait, I've got a house, a car, a job, my, my life's okay. People don't understand, you know, and I don't know, Alberto, if you know how old I am, but I'm not in my fifties, I'm only 36. I know I've got, wow. a, lot of, I know I've got a lot of gray wow. hair, here, man, but come on. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's you know? that's even more uh, amazing, amazing because when I do I look to... that old? That's what scares me. Do no, you are old? not. You are not. You look. You look <laughs> like a men's health uh, our first page guy. So <laughs> doing yeah. doing great, doing great. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm must talking about the the maturity on your ideas, on the way that you are expressing and doing these these things. I'm seeing your kids. Your kids are, are, are young kids, so I, I can figure it out the <laughs> yeah. age of your, you and your family. But uh, but the way that you are talking, and since you already start this journey, like uh, almost 20, 20 years younger than me, by the time that you get my age, again, you're going to be the next Tony Robbins. <laughs> so it's it's amazing that you already find out a coach, a, a, a how to say it, this kind of lessons at, at your age. So I, I don't know, in two or three years, you, you're gonna be amazing. I, I don't feel bad for for uh, finding this kind of trainings or culture or philosophy that can change my life. Everybody has his own time and I get mine at this age but now knowing that you already get it I, I, i'm gonna be watching you buddy i'm gonna be watching you well i mean you're kind of making me blush over here and i don't you know but like you said we all get it at different times right you know? and i feel like even for me like it took me alberto it took me a long time to realize i was a selfish man who was being you know, not a great husband. I wasn't being the best father. I wasn't running my business as probably as well as I should have been because I was selfish. I was had, you know, just letting the world kind of, I was, I was being controlled by the world, I guess. You know, I was doing what society said was normal or good. And, and once I stopped and said, no, 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 it's time for Mike Newhart to think differently and be mindful. Like, am I still, am I, am I perfect? No, 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 none of us will ever be perfect. We all still have struggles. But to let guys know that there's something else out there, we can strive for more. We can be bigger and part of something more and, and more successful than we than just our houses and our cars and our jobs. You know, like you said, we don't understand probably the influence that we have on other people. And it's not that I'm I'm really sitting here trying to influence other people, but I want them. I just want to give guys the opportunity to think differently, to know that they can have more in life. But now I'm here to tell you that you need to realize the power and influence that what you're doing is already having on the on, on the world. So I believe that what you were facing at the beginning, it was, let's say, your level, your first level of consciousness. Like every, like all of us are, are being uh, uh, influenced in, uh, through the uh, cultural world. But there is a time when we start this uh, awakening 
and, and probably we leave it in that event uh, two years ago. Yep. Now we are in the next level, and and that it it, it comes to a, name it like an evolution. You are evolving, and you need to face uh, the first kind of like a world influences looking for a the biggest car, the, the millions, and and Robin Sharma says, enjoy the uh, enjoy the, the the journey. Enjoy but the journey. Don't be attached to. Now that you are awakening to it and you are in the next level, there is a long way to go. And I believe that you, you let's say, it, for using those words, awaking quite young. So I, I believe it's a, it's it is great. And well, I, I think mean that your your family is, is now tasting it and facing it, no? And I, you know, I appreciate all these kind of words. And I want everybody in structure to, to know that I did not invite Alberto on here just to pat me on the back, like you know. I, I I really appreciate these things, but it's you know like I said, it's one of these things that I feel like I've been led to start this because I just want other guys to know. You know, it's okay to think differently. We don't have to be stuck where we're at. If it's if it's where you get home and you have, feel like you have to drink a you know four or five beers to get through the evening, you know, no, we can we can replace that with being mindful, changing our habits, changing our routines, living with a passion that we don't know we have. What is it? How many of us are stuck in jobs that we absolutely hate? and are scared or fearful fearful i mean i think that when before we got on this call you said you know that's i've been in you know you've been an engineer for a car manufacturing company for a long time and you know one of your fears you're you're facing your fear of continuing to grow what you're growing on your side to get out of that rat race you know to do what you're passionate about and and, and to be honest and, and let me tell you the truth i'm i'm on that on that point of my life i'm still being uh uh, afraid to make the jump to the abyss because um my old uh, my younger uh, daughter it's uh 22 years old she's she's uh finishing the medical school she wants to become a doctor so i'm still having that kind of like an uh, economical responsibility i'm still mm -hmm. working on an industry i'm still getting my uh weekly payment but at the same time I, I want to jump and and start doing it this one full time. So I'm I'm still in believe it. So what what we are here, I don't know. Maybe the universe put us together. And I'm not here just to make a, a, a sugar coating on your heels. I, I'm I'm not saying the thing that <laughs> probably people believe that I'm that I'm uh, wants to tell you. I'm telling you what I'm seeing and what I'm really feeling. And this kind of recording that we are getting together seems to me more like an uh, coaching each other. Yep. Let's, yep. let's talk about uh, what are your uh, or the capabilities that I'm seeing on you, and you are uh, telling the ones that you're seeing in me. So let's 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 push each other and 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 go for it. For sure. So, you know, and I think that not only that. So I mean, like I said, you and I haven't talked like this since Tony Robbins, so two years ago for those 20 minutes. So we've talked more now than we did when we first met. But you know, oh, to, stay, no, no, yeah. to stay in contact with somebody like you means a lot to me because you know, you've got a few years on me and I look up to you and you, you know, you can help me along the way, but also how can other guys that are just starting in their journey, you know, I feel like having an accountability partner, you know, your 5 a.m. club, you know, you guys are accountable to each other and you guys have, you're there for each other, structure you. I want, what I'd love to see are more guys that, that want to help each other along that, you know, maybe can form some small groups because we need that community of men to help each other, to help other men grow. Like you said, we're going to help each other on this process. And for guys that are just starting out, you know, let's find somebody on your level to start with, you know? Right. Right. And, and, and you already started journey that, uh, will take you through, uh, different different uh ways to serve people you already start having a couple of customers one-on-one -on -one, not for coaching and directing i guess quite soon you will have your own let's say coaching group so instead of being coaching one-on-one probably -on -one, you have a, a group of three or four at the same time each of them just paying the same or, or half but getting the same benefits and then your tribe is gonna grow, so that's that's probably what I'm what I'm having less like an accident. It's not something that I pursue it uh, 
originally, but now I'm having a, like a free coaching sessions every Sunday or every Saturday at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> so they, those those six guys woke up uh, at that time and we get together and uh, we spend like an hour and a half just trying to see what I'm what I says or what I communicate during the week on the 5 a.m. Uh, 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 training. And they are going in choice. So that is telling me that probably in the future, another way to help people and to get customers is like a uh, coaching group. Or, or group coaching, whatever it needs to say it. And uh, you can start helping more people at the same time, like in a one-on-one, -on -one, no? Yep, and you know, like you're saying, you know, the, like the, the purpose of Structure You, it's, if it takes one man at a time, if if out of the 600 members in Structure You, only one guy gets some benefit this week, you know, that's all that matters. We're just, we want for one, if, if only one person listens to, the, to this conversation we're having, and they pick up a few gold nuggets that can help change their life, you know, ultimately that's what it's all about. It is, it is, it is. The, the way that I'm seeing it also is, we, we already find out that we have our own mission to mm -hmm. help people, probably to help. And if one person at a time is being changed or getting the benefits or changing their life, uh, it, it's going to be enough. Now, what if out of those ones, they become coaches also, and they have the same kind of influence through another ones? So that's, that's the point on thinking to change the world, trying to make this kind of growth that we face with Tani, and now we're with each other helping us, to the point where we can start making an, a bigger influence in the world with more coaches. This world needs more coaches than they have, that for sure. In influencing more people or working with more people, trying to get an exponential uh, growth, that, that's also that we also need to be facing or, or, or trying to pursue it, I guess. Yeah, and you know, do I feel like most men you know, because if you, if you if you want to talk about coaching, you know, women, there's an exuberant, a, a ton of women coaches. But we as men, we have a hard time letting our egos go to the side. You know, it took me a long time to reach out to another man and say, hey, I need some help in this area of my life. Like, can you help me? And this guy's like, that's what I do. I'm like, yeah. And for me, it's a small price to pay if it can help me get to the next level. You know, and since then I've had two or three other coaches and each one along the way is a new coach helping me get to that next level. That's challenging me, helping me do hard things and, and mentally just doing, doing things. You know what I mean? Because sometimes we need that kick in the butt to get us there. And we got to, you know, as men, let your ego aside. Say, hey, if I can help this guy or if I can, if I can pay this guy a little bit of money to help me get to the next level and uh, have less of the obstacles and, you know, stuff like that, then small amount of money to pay yeah it, it, it's always going to be like an investing in in a in a very uh good investment so you you don't gonna lose whatever money you put in to have a new lesson here uh it, it's gonna have a, a an exponential value uh, tomorrow or and their business is gonna grow they as person they're gonna grow they're gonna i don't know they the influence they can get for a small amount of money, and, and and we're just talking about money, just just like an a uh, to have it as an a point of reference. We we can talk about uh, uh, a lot of uh, how to say it. I forget the word in, in in English, but if you want to become millionaire, not just in money, obviously in your values. Uh, if you pay this one at this time, that investment is gonna pay you back. Quite so return of investment that they're gonna get it. It's gonna be quite big, more than the if you go to the Wall Street, I guess. For sure, and you know, like you make a great point because just because you're paying somebody money doesn't mean that you are you're paying a coach money to help you make more money. Maybe you're just paying a coach to help get your priorities in order. You know, right. for me, that was one of my sticking points this year. I'm going to strengthen my relationship with with the Lord, with my wife, with my kids. Then I'm going to work on my health and fitness. And then third will come my business. 
And I'll be completely honest, I probably dropped the ball on my business this year. Like we made, we didn't make as much money this year. However, with those other four things, those priorities being top level, my life's better. Not monetary, money wise, but my life is better, you know? And the money will always come. We can always make okay. money. Always, is, the money is gonna come to the discussion or the talking uh, all the time, just again, as an, uh, at least on the mains, it is it is is the way that we or one way that we value ourselves or, or or try to measure our uh, success. Let's 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 put it in one way. Obviously, uh, if we just use them use them as an, a reference, you can keep pushing for that one and make it grow. Not as an, not not as an end to get it. Just as a point of reference, I'm doing great, I'm doing bad, I need to do better, I need to learn more. What do I need to do? Now, we need to face other things. If we want to be an influence, it's not going to be for free. We, we, may, we may achieve some kind of a public with a few dollars doing these this, uh, talks and Zooms, but if we want to have a great influence, we also need some kind of leverage and, and, and money is going to be part of those leverage that we may need to, to, to go farther than we can uh, imagine. So thinking on yourself, having your business and doing enough money to have a happy life, good for you. But now that you already take the challenge to be an influencer, to be an, a mindsetter, to be a coach for the world, you need another things to to go beyond that, I guess. No, so uh, it's it's gonna be difficult all the time, and, and we don't need to be we don't need to be like a like a Buddha or, or Jesus Christ, like an ego list. It, it, it's part of ourselves, and if we use them wisely, along with the love, I guess you will have the motivation enough and the love to go to go further than that and uh and get better yourself and get better the world around you no oh, good stuff alberto and you know like we said when we first start got on this call you know i i think that as we wrap up i think that you know some of the things you've mentioned about continuing to live with motivation or with passion you know you're going to go through some rough stretches all of us are you know continue to look forward and you know with your stuff you know it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen with a snap of a finger. It's baby steps. It's, you know, like you said, you know, you're not, not able to quit your job yet. And, you know, with the kids still going through medical school, but you understand that, but you're still growing your business a little at a time. So when you're ready to make that jump, you can make that jump. And it's all going to be good. What parting words of advice do you got for us, Alberto? Well, just going through our, uh, what I'm doing that one, uh, wake up earlier. Oh, join the 5 a.m. club. Add you one, to, you know, you keep sharing an this hour to your life. You keep, you keep sharing this, but I'll be completely honest. Out of the 600 people, I don't know how many people speak Spanish. I don't know. I don't. So I see those. I'm like, I don't even know what he's saying. You need to have some like, the words at the bottom so we can understand it right i i can i was thinking to, to do it also in english and uh but it, it is a matter of uh, get organized and I'm, I'm thinking to do it I, I i never think that probably my influence can get across the border but i was thinking well, probably in the u.s there are going to be a, a spanish speakers that can listen to me and and, and use them I promise to do something more the, for the structured you on it, but it is incredible. I have two friends or two new friends that are following me that they don't speak Spanish and they are from India. No kidding. So, yeah. And uh, one of them is Gaumar. Uh, that's his name. And it's not 5 a.m. club for him. It's like an uh, 8 p.m. Uh, <laughs> club for him. And he starts sharing with me thoughts, videos, questions. And uh, again, it's something that also may happen with structured you, but I promise you that I will, I will prepare, I will work on, on doing the same in, in English to share with your, uh, with your tribe and, and, and audience. But I may challenge you 
to prepare something to do it in Spanish, buddy. So Ooh, I like it. I like a good challenge, uh, Roberto. Sooner or later, make a, a small speech or, or, or a video. I love that one tip. Get up earlier. People, it, it is. I think they it really is. underestimate what you can get done and, and when you get up earlier. One of the things that I, I get it just following what the Robin Sharma say, uses as a formula 20, 20, 20 is 20 minutes for ex doing exercise, 20 minutes meditation or journaling, and 20 minutes uh, growth through reading a book. I'm already, I, I read a book a week, so that, <laughs> that helps me a little bit. So for using sure. that formula, today is my 237 day waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning at 40, 4, 4.30 because I need to prepare for the, the Facebook Live. And now it's, it's in a habit. But I'm already gained. If, if, you, if, you are a, if you love mathematics or statistics, I'm already add to my life 237 hours. What you can do on that time? You can do miracles on that time. So think about what, it. That's a great way to look at it, that you've, you've added that many hours to your life and productive hours. Because you, when you get up that early, you're productive. You're not just sitting around watching TV. You're getting stuff done. No. Dude, and I love so that. One, one of the, 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 the advices it's, uh, that can also uh, give it to you is at least go through and read the, the 5 a.m. Club book from Robin Sharma. It have a couple of uh, good insights and formulas, like uh, the 9091 formula, which I love it, which is pick one goal, get focused on one goal, and dedicate 90 minutes during 90 days. That's the 9091 formula. So I can bet you that you will get that goal achieved. I'm writing this down as we talk. So are you going to share with us your goal? For me, it's to become a co coach. So that is 90 days. I'm already in the day like uh, 17, so still a long way to go. But I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on that. And normally I dedicate those 90 days starting at 5 a.m. in the morning. So by the time that I get to my job, I'm already past that 90, 90 minutes. And it's going to be 90 days. So let's see how it works. Later on, I will share with you the result on that one. But that is a, those are good uh, insights on that book that can help uh, you and can help, can help uh, structure your group of people. Awesome. Well, Alberto, I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time to down here and chat with us. And uh, if anybody wants to reach out to you, you're part of Structure You. And so, you know, like I said, I appreciate it and we'll stay in touch. Promise to start sharing uh, uh, videos in English with this kind of insight. And thanks for having me on Structure You. And it has been a pleasure to talk to you, Mike. Awesome. Wish you the best. And uh, you're going to be a great coach. You are already a great coach. So, well, hey, I guys, listen, Mike. Listen, <laughs> Mike. I appreciate it, Alberto. We'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon, buddy. All right. Bye-bye.